Hi everyone, this is Ryan and uh, welcome to the webinar. All right. Now for those of you uh, who are first time on this webinar, welcome to FX Starts here. Right. I do a weekly webinar. Right. So every Thursday at 9 p.m. Uh, we will upload a new video onto Facebook, YouTube, as well as uh, my blog. All right. So the topic for today will be five interesting facts of forex. All right. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So the first fact, right? First interesting fact: trading is hard work. All right. So anyone who thinks you can make millions in a few weeks should off your computer or or phone right now and go for a cold shower. All right, now forex trading is not that easy, right? Uh, as what some people would like to would like you to believe, it requires discipline, determination, and patience. All right, it's hard work, right? Trading is hard work. Okay, there is no magic software to make money automatically. Right, I know there are a lot of people out there selling softwares which they claim is. That's going to make you thousands and millions of dollars in a few weeks. That's not going to happen. All right. These robots simply, uh, they are, these robots are programmed to trade in a certain way. Some robots are programmed to trade ranges. Some robots are programmed to trade trends, right? So in a ranging market, a trend robot's not going to work. And in a trending market, a ranging robot's not going to work. All right. So, uh, I mean, these are just a very, uh, to put it in a very basic way. Okay. So no magic software. Yeah. And uh, you're not going to make millions of dollars in a few weeks. All right. Okay. I could show you how to make a few thousand dollars consistently every month, but not a few million dollars in few weeks. Okay. What's fact number two? Okay. Fact number two, bull, bear, and pig. All right. So bull, right? What what is a bull candle or what's a bull market, right? Bullish refers to going upwards. Why upwards? Because they refer it to the bull that charges with its horns pointing upwards, right? So the bull charges with a horn pointing upwards, right? Whereas a bear slashes its paw downwards, right? So bear is down, right? So bear means the price is moving downwards. Bull means the price is moving upwards. And then uh, there are some people who talk about pigs. Right? Pigs refer to people, right? people who don't know what to do. Right? People who don't know what to do, what's going to happen next, who don't have a plan. Right? When they are trading, they don't have a plan. So well, some people refer them to pigs. Right? No offense. Okay? So there's a saying, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. All right? So don't be a pig. Right? Understand how to trade, understand what trading is all about, right? Trading is just to make money, not to prove whether you are right or whether you are wrong. Trading is to make money, know your plan, and trade according to your plan. Okay, fact number three, no crisis, right? So unlike other markets, right? Unlike other financial markets like stocks, right? There is no crisis in the forex market, right? Why do I say that? Because whether the price is going up or whether the prices are coming down, we can still make money, all right? So money can be made in rising and falling economic conditions, right? Economic situations, right? So if the price is going up, we can buy. If the price is coming downwards, we can sell. So there is no crisis, right? In fact, right, during all these crises, it is might actually be the best time to trade because there's a lot of movement going on, right? Price is volatile and we are going to get big profits, all right? The top four trading hubs, right? The top four trading hubs in the world, right? So now Forex is a $5 trillion volume. This is daily volume, right? When you compare it to the New York Stocks Exchange, the New York Stocks Exchange is the biggest stock market in the world. Right, the daily volume of the New York Stock Exchange is only twenty-two billion dollars volume, whereas forex is five trillion dollars. All right, and the four major hubs, the four biggest markets in the world, uh, the UK, United Kingdom, USA, right, that's America, Singapore, and 
Japan, right? So these are the four biggest trading hubs in the world, right? We, these four countries account for 71% of the total volume of Forex exchange trading, right? For, Forex trading around the world. UK is actually number one, right? A lot of people might think that US is number one. Actually, UK is number one with 41% of the volume. Okay, and finally, the fifth one, the broker is important, right? Very, very important. I feel it's very important, right? Trading with the right broker is vital in Forex, right? Why do I say that? Okay, now there's, uh, there's a lot of cases we have heard, right, where brokers suddenly disappear or brokers suddenly close down and stop paying out to their clients, right? So that can happen in Forex, right, with a Forex broker. So it is, it is important to do your due diligence and check that the broker you're using is fully licensed and regulated. All right. Uh, as well, uh, the, the, a good broker should have tight spreads, right? So the spread should be small between the bid price and the, and the ask price. The spread should be small, or should be tight, and they should also provide exceptional customer service, right? So if you ask the broker a question, they should be able to reply you immediately or at least within the same day, right? If the broker takes a few days to respond to you, then you we want to be a bit careful about that broker as well, right? That means they are not responsive enough, right? And to me, a very important thing is withdrawals are punctual. When I submit a withdrawal, it says within three days, I make sure the money comes in within three days, all right? It should not take longer than that. Uh, sometimes maybe because of bank holidays, there might be one or two days uh, delay, that's fine, right? But if every withdrawal I make and there is a delay of a few days you know, or a few weeks, you want to be careful and immediately take out all your money and switch to another broker, all right? Personally, I use FX Primers. I've been using them for close to 10 years, right? Very safe, they're fully licensed and regulated. Every time I submit a withdrawal, I get my money on time. Okay, so that's the end of uh, today's webinar, right? Five interesting facts of uh, Forex. All right, so now let's come to the today's USD uh, $100 winner. Oh, sorry, uh, there is an error here. It's supposed to be one winner. Sorry, I used uh, last week's slide, right? Just copy and paste. Okay, so ignore that. There's going to be one winner, right? One winner will be picked this week, right? So the, what you need to do is like and share this post. All right, like and share this post, very important and like this Facebook page, right? Like my page, FX starts here, okay? And then leave a comment below, all right? Leave a comment below, okay? So you need to like and share this post, leave, like this Facebook page, leave a comment below. You must fulfill these three things. If you don't fulfill these three things, then uh, you don't qualify to be, to be uh, the US $100 winner, all right? And then the deadline will be tomorrow, 12 noon Singapore time, right? So it's about 9 p.m. now, right? 9 p.m. Singapore time now. So you have until tomorrow, that's about 12, 13, 14, about 14 and a half hours, right? 14 and a half hours for you to watch this video, like and share this post, like this Facebook page, leave a comment below, and hopefully you will be the lucky winner tomorrow at 12 noon Singapore time, all right? Good luck, everyone. Right, and uh, good night and bye-bye.